following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. Some of you are thinking of if you're totally into that world, which I find to be very interesting. So, supposing we hit the body with a tremendous, uh, whether it's ultraviolet or just very powerful light, and I think you said that hasn't been checked, but you're going to test it. And then I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body. Sounds interesting. Right, and then I see the disinfectant, where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or or almost a cleaning? Because you see it gets in the lungs and it does a tremendous number of lungs. So it would be interesting to check that. So that you're going to have to use medical doctors with. But it sounds... It sounds interesting to me. This is, uh, to me, this was a very, really a very interesting meeting. We covered it in great detail. And these are incredible people at that. We could call it a laboratory, because that's essentially what it is. It's a super laboratory. It's a lot of things going on in that laboratory. Is it dangerous for you to make people think they would be safe by going outside in the heat, considering that so many people are dying in Florida, considering that this virus has had an outbreak in Singapore? Places that are yeah, hot here, and here we go. <laughs> the new the new headline is Trump asks people to go outside. That's dangerous. Here we go. Same old group. Uh, you ready? I hope people enjoy the sun. And if it has an impact, that's great. I'm just hearing this not really for the first time. You know, there's been a rumor that you know, a very nice rumor that you go outside in the sun or you have heat and it does have an effect on other viruses. But now we get it from one of the great laboratories of the world. <laughs> covers a lot more territory than just this. This is, this is probably an easy thing, relatively speaking, for you. I would like you to speak to the medical doctors to see if there's any way that you can apply light and heat to cure. And if you could, and maybe you can, maybe you can't. Again, I say maybe you can, maybe you can't. I'm not a doctor, but I'm like a person that has a big, you know what. Uh, Deborah, have you ever heard of that? Uh, the uh, heat and the light relative to certain viruses, yes, but relative to this virus? That is a treatment. Basically, <laughs> fever yeah. is a good thing when you have a fever. It helps your body respond. But not as I've not seen. <laughs> I, I think it's a great thing to look at. I mean, okay. Hopefully, sir, you're the president, and people tuning into these briefings, they want to get information and guidance and want to know what to do. They're hey, not looking for cool. rumors. Cool. I'm the president, and you're fake news. And you know what I'll say to you? I'll say very nicely. I know you will. I know you will, because I know the guy. I see what he writes. He's a total faker. So are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? It's just a suggestion from a brilliant lad by a very, very smart, perhaps brilliant man. He's talking about sun. He's talking about heat. And you see the numbers. So that's it. That's all I have. I'm just here to present talent. I'm here to present ideas. Because we want ideas to get rid of this thing. And if heat is good, and if sunlight is good, that's a great thing to throw a bunch of things. Go ahead.